Hey, Ukraine Media family, Sergey Praknevsky here, and today I'm super excited to let you know that our new After Effects script called Modulo Third Kit Batch Duplicator is out, and it is included in Modulo Third Kits. However, if you have purchased a Modulo Third Kit in the past, whether it be flat style or corporate style, or if you purchased a bundle, then if you've done that, that means you also have this script, and all you have to do, just go to ukrainemedia.com re-log in and then re-download, and then you'll have this script. What this script does is simple. It takes a modulo third, and then it creates multiple copies based on a text document. A lot of you have been asking me, how can you take a modulo third and then create a batch of different compositions without going into each composition, changing the data and duplicating it and so on? Well, this script will help you big time. So let me quickly show you what it does. I'm gonna click on this document icon and then load up a text document. So it supports either a text document, .txt, or a .csv file, which is comma separated value text document. Essentially any spreadsheet application out there, I'm sure can export a CSV file. And the way it works, the way I rigged it up here, each line of text in this text document represents a new composition. So however many names I have in here, ho however many lines I have in here, it's gonna create a new composition based on each line. And within each line, we have elements. So we have run more, that's element number one, up to this comma. So comma separates each element. And right here we have three. So we have one, two, three. So that would be name, title one, title two. And it applies each, right, each um, item based on the selection in your composition, which I'll talk about here in a second. So I'm gonna select this document, press OK, and then I'm gonna go and adjust some naming. So I can go even deeper. I can say, for each composition that I create, let's add a prefix to each composition, and that could be something like new underscore. Okay, and then we can also add suffix to the uh, each composition to the name of it. So we can say, let's end it by saying something like 2018. And then we can also number each composition that we create. So for each line of text that we have in a composition, we can say the first one's gonna be one, two, three, and so on. So if you have that checked, which it is by default, then it's gonna number your compositions. And also we have some more options in here. You can say, all right, take all those new compositions and place them into a new folder. And then you can label that new folder. You can say something like Ukraine Media. And then once you're done, we're gonna talk about this here shortly, but once you're done, just go into your composition and select your, you know, if you wanna play with this module or third, the first thing you wanna do obviously is make sure the look of it is figured out. So you can say, all right, let's maybe get rid of the logo and get rid of the title two, or maybe let's hold on to title two. You can adjust the animation things like direction, you can adjust the spacing, whatever you need to do, right, to customize it to your liking. And once you're done, that's when you wanna run your script. So once you're done, you just select the names here. So the first selection is the first name in that line of text. So that'll be the name, and then control select the second one, the third one. So the second item will be applied to the second selection, and the third item will be applied to the third selection. After that, after you've made all those uh, choices, then all you have to do, just press apply. And almost instantly, you can go over here, you can see it created a new folder called Ukra Media. And then in here we have each new composition based on the list of items that we had in the text document. So it creates a new composition for each line of text, which is pretty cool because you can instantly create a lot of different compositions. Heck, you don't even have to do it. You can get your producer to give you a list of names and just tell them how to do it. And after that, you can just take that external text document and then run it through the script and create different modulo thirds based on that text document. All right, so let's start from scratch and let me show you how easy it is to set everything up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new text document by right clicking here and then go to new and then text document. And then you can label it anything you want. I'm going to label it Ukraine Media. And then I'm gonna double click on it to go inside of it. And in here, remember each line of text represents a new person or a new composition. So I'm gonna come up with a new person. I'm gonna say Elijah Patrick. Okay, so that's the first element in my row, right? And then to go to the second element, I would use comma because comma separates everything. And the reason why it does that because of this. So right here, if you go to the script, you can see more options. We have this separate row elements by comma. By default, it is a comma. So 
That's what separates it, comma. However, if your text has a comma, for example, this Elijah Patrick comma, like junior or something like that, right? If you already have a comma, C JavaScript will think that it's a separate item, which is a problem, right? So if you have a comma, you might want to use something else like underscore. And then if you use underscore, you want to make sure that instead of comma, you put underscore in here to let the script know that you're using underscore to split your items. So just a small tip, but I think will help you big time. So I'm going to undo all of this. So we have Elijah Patrick as a first element, and then we can say something like producer. That's the second element, and then comma. And we can say something like Euchre Media. Okay, so we have three things. So that's a first person, and I can just copy this and duplicate it and maybe add something, just a different name. Let's do uh, Carrie. And let's do, well, I'm going to leave it as this. So I'm going to take all of them and kind of duplicate them. And you want to make sure that you don't leave this blank because if you if you have a line of like just a blank line here, then it's going to create a new composition that's blank. Okay. That's all you have to do. Select your items. And by the way, it's going to take the first item that you have in here. And that's what it's going to use as the name of your composition. So once you have that, just press Control S and save, or you can go to File and then Save. Then we can go into After Effects here. And then the same process again, just go here. Load it up, which is in here. We have Euchre Media, and then OK. So now we have it all connected in here. Again, you can adjust the prefix, the suffix, uh, you know, all of that stuff. However, yeah, let's place it into a new folder. I'm going to call it Euchre Media. OK. And then I'm just going to go to here, right? Select the first item that's going to be the first name on my list, which is Elijah Patrick, and then Control select the second one. So then the second item is going to pl be applied to the second selection and then the third one. And after that, just hit apply, wait for it. And as you can see, we have them in here. So we have Elijah, Carrie, and it's repeating. So you can click on Elijah. It does take a second or two because this is a modular third kit. It's fully rigged with expressions. So it does take a little time to, to load. So as you can see, Elijah Patrick, then we have producer and then Euchre Media. All right, so now that we know how to create a new text document and how to run it through our script, let's do the same thing using a spreadsheet. So if you have a spreadsheet, you have a list of names, you can actually export all of that into a text document, which is called CSV, comma separated value. So for this example, I have three rows. So we have name, title one, title two. And again, it's the same concept as the text document. So first line is the first name, right? Name, title one, title two, and so on. But we can take this and export it as a CSV file. So we can go to File and then Save As. And then next what you want to do, you want to go to Save As Type. And here, you want to make sure you check this .csv. So once you've done that, you want to label this as whatever you want. But I'm going to call it CSV, OK? And then I'm going to go and place it into this Documents folder, OK? Once you're done, you hit save. And then after that, it's going to ask you a few more questions. So in here, the most important one is this one right here. So field delimiter, it's basically asking you, how do you want to separate these items? Remember, just like with text, we separate by comma. And that's what it's showing us by default. So whatever you put in here, you want to make sure that it matches in your script. So if you have commas in your text, you might want to use something else. So you can use underscore. But if you're going to do that, you want to make sure that you put underscore in here as well before you run it. But I'm going to leave it as comma because I don't have any commas in my text. And once you're done that, make sure you don't have this check. So you don't want to put quotes around your text. So don't put quotes around your text because it will put it in the final result. So once you're done, press OK. Sure. And then we can go into After Effects. We can go and load it up here. And in Documents, as you can see, it's, well, you can't see it right now because we need to go here and then click on CSV. Once you do that, you can see it right in here. Press OK. Now we have it loaded. You can go through naming again. You can adjust. I'm going to put it in a new folder called Euchre Media. So then we select the same concept again. The first item is going to grab the first element from that first line of text. So it's going to be name and then control select second and third. Once you've done that, press apply. And it'll take a couple seconds. And next thing you know, you see our new folder called Euchre Media, and it created a new composition for each line of text that we had in our spreadsheet, 
which is really cool because now you can see everything lines up. We have the first one, we have Ron Moore, as you see right there. He's the goalkeeper and he's from Argentina. So that's how easy it is to export a CSV file from a spreadsheet and then run it through our script here. Let me show you how easy it is to install the script. But before you do that, you wanna make sure that you unzip the file first. So you wanna make sure you unzip that and then go to file. And right here we see scripts. And in here we have three options. So the first one is run script file. And it's pretty simple. You just click on it, direct to the script. And then you might not see that first because you have to go to right here and then change it to Adobe JavaScript binary file. When you do that, then you'll see your script. You can click on it and you can open it that way and then you can run it that way. However, we can also do it two other ways. So we can go to file and then scripts and we have install script file and install script UI panel. So install script file will install it in here and then install script UI panel will install it into here. And the reason why it says UI because you can actually dock it and you can put it in your layout. So once you install it using it this way, once you go through the process for this one or that one, next thing you wanna do, once you finish installing it, you wanna make sure you restart After Effects. And after that, you'll see it in here or in here. Then you can click on it. And for this UI, you can actually dock it. So you can either have it floating like that or you can click on here and click and drag and then you can dock it anywhere you want to like this. The last thing I wanna mention before I wrap this up is that even though this script is designed for the module or third kit, however, you can use it on other compositions as well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So for this example, I have just a quick lower third that I rigged up. It is modular, so if I adjust the size of it, you can see everything adjusts. So I have a different lower third that has five items, so five different texts, different titles. And let's say this time I have a new text document, this one right here, and this one has five different elements on each line. So we have the name, jersey number, position, and then we have team name and the nationality. So these are soccer players, and each name again represents a new composition. But this one has five different elements, and you can have as many of them as you want. So I'm gonna select this, press OK. And then, again, the order is important, so select it in the order that you want. And then you can hit Apply. It's that simple. So once you've done that, it created a new folder, Euchre Media, and each composition is exactly what it was like in the text document. So you can see all five of them were adjusted. So yeah, this can come in very handy for many projects, but an important thing to point out here that it only duplicates that particular composition. It doesn't duplicate all the nested compositions. So it doesn't duplicate all of them and then replace them. It only duplicates one composition. So that is very important that you know that. However, I hope you find this script useful. Again, thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your support. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.